Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is my 2000 BMW 328i, and today I'll show you how to replace the windshield washer fluid pump. The original pump in my car let all the fluid leak out in 2017, and I repaired it, which I'll talk about later, but the repair only lasted about 4 years, so today I'm replacing it with a new one. Honestly, I probably wasted my time repairing the old pump, because new pumps are cheap and really easy to install, but it is what it is, so let's get to it. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Socket wrench, 10 mm socket, and a pair of dikes. For this job I also needed one shop towel, one zip tie, 5.3 liters of windshield washer fluid, and a new pump. I went with the O'Reilly Auto Parts brand of windshield washer fluid because it was featured on an episode of Project Farm and seemed to outperform all the other options that were tested. There are links in the description for everything I used. The windshield washer fluid reservoir is held in place with just one bolt. This is the pump that sends washer fluid to the windshield, but if there's a second pump in front, that one's for sending washer fluid to the headlights if your car has that option. To remove this pump, I'll snip the zip tie, remove the plastic guard, and slide the hose off the pump outlet. Remove the pump from the reservoir, then squeeze and pull to remove the electrical connection. I think the orange residue on the pump is a mixture of rust and dried up orange Rain-X washer fluid, which I don't use anymore. The seal here went bad, which is down here. The fluid should be going down that hole and then out this hole, propelled by this and the mechanism inside there, which you can see the end of right here. So when that seal went bad, fluid was able to overflow out and over into this trough. And that trough has a drain hole right there. So the fluid would slowly leak out through that bad seal over the edge and out that hole right there. The last time I took this apart, I put some RTV sealant in here and I stuck this thing back together. It certainly didn't look this bad. And that held together for blank years. I'll have to look it up. I don't remember when I did that, but it was a long time ago. So definitely time for a new one. It was worth the blank dollars. I don't remember, I'll have to look it up, but it was not expensive and I probably should have just bought a new one the first time. Now's a good time to clean up the outside of the tank. By the way, you can now support the channel by purchasing this awesome design available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and in a bunch of different colors as well. Check for a link in the description below. Insert the pump as shown. Then reinstall the hose, plastic guard, and electrical connection. Don't forget to replace the zip tie, making sure the wires aren't pulled too tightly. Those things need to fit into slots down there. While filling the reservoir, I noticed that the strainer had fallen inside, 
but luckily it floats and I was able to pull it out and put it back into place. I'm not sure what knocked it loose, but if it keeps happening, I'll probably need to buy a replacement. I've already made a bunch of videos with this car and there's more on the way, so check those out before you go. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more of the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. I bet I could get a little bit more in there. Oh, that's enough.